Hello there, my name is James Clem. I'm out here at my Homestead Digital Studio. This video is about custom programming the CS6. The CS6 has been with us a few years now and it's been fabulous, particularly for Emacs with that super speed cycle. That really makes a difference in turning that ceramic around in our clinical theater and getting it in the mouth with a high quality result. The current system I'm using on my Emacs is Mio 850. It works just fine in the super speed cycle. I've used this in all my classes where I've seen a lot of restorations come through this furnace and it's amazing and it works extremely well. One of the nice things about the CS6 is that we can place in custom programs and that's what this video is gonna show you. It's gonna be for Mio Aesthetic and Ivacolor. These are my two favored glaze systems. Well, actually the Mio Aesthetic is more of a brush on ceramic, but these are my coloring and also glaze surface systems that I use a lot and they're the best ones out there. So the three systems that I use would be Ivacolor, Mio Aesthetic for zirconia and ceramics. And then I have the Mio 850 for my Emacs. And I do use occasionally Mio Aesthetic on my Emacs for certain effects. The colors I have found to be a little more saturated when I really want to get those effects that pop out there. Now, when do I use Ivacolor, which is very efficient, which works really well on Lucite and Microfelspathic ceramics. Ivacolor I've used for quite a few years. I used to use it on my Emacs and then Mio 850 came out and I definitely transitioned over to that. Mio 850 in my hands and what I've seen in my training classes is amazing. It raises the bar of the user to get a net effect that's very high end, particularly within the quality of the glaze and the colors, they're translucent, they don't blotch. Well, you can blotch anything, but you don't see a lot of blotching. And what I see in my classes, whether it be the doctors or the dental assistants, they are doing amazing effects. And I've been training ceramics for over 20 years, and I've never seen this level of quality in such a short period of time. And that's what my objectives are when I teach is value added. I will use whatever I need to use in the current marketplace, even in the transitions of new products to get the best outcome. That's what I do in my clinical theater. And that's what I pass on in my training, both here online and also in my classes at my training center. So how do we program the CS6? There's a few shifts over programming like the CS2 or the CS because we have this standby temperature in our traditional clamshell type of firing furnaces. And that runs anywhere between 430 up to 500. And that's the standby temperature that gets that furnace ready to go and maximizes that drying time. Now with the CS6, we have a low standby temperature. So there's a separate program for that to optimize the drying cycle. And there's also a cooling cycle or cycles that we need to place in our CS6 when we're using it for our glazes and our brush on liquid ceramics. So let's learn how to program this in the CS6. One of the things we'll learn is how to optimize that drying cycle. The CS6 is really known for that because the firing assembly comes down in the furnace, which allows the warmer air to evaporate up and out, which can expedite our drying cycle. And that's one of the advantages of the CS6. At the point of this video, there's three drying options within the CS6. We have wet zirconia, and the wet zirconia cycle is for zirconia that's been milled in a wet milling machine environment. It's not for drying the infiltration liquids. There are toxins to the heating elements when we try to dry the infiltration liquids within the furnace. I'm gonna do that in a toaster oven first, which is about 10 minutes at 180 degrees. That's where we do our drying of our zirconia if we infiltrate, which I do use under certain circumstances when I need more cervical saturation effects. And that's really nice to have that in the bag of tricks, though I haven't been using it as much lately with our latest zirconias that have these multi effects, such as Katana, the MTL, the Prime, and the Zircat MT 
Multi. In fact, the Zircat MT Multi in my hands is definitely the best aesthetic zirconia I use, though it takes a longer time to do that. I'm usually not doing that in one appointment. So the other drying cycles that we see to program in this furnace would be the glaze drying cycle and also the crystal drying cycle. Now the crystal drying cycle is made for drying just like the object fix when you're using spray glaze. That's the intent as I understand that the object player has done for this furnace. Now we do know that there are glazes that we can still use with this cycle and it works just fine. So I'll show you how to create that setup, but that will save almost up to three minutes on your cycle, particularly for Ivacolor and also for meal aesthetic. I have not seen any bubbling with that. I'm still assessing that a little bit more. I don't have a problem of that with meal 850. So if you do use the accelerated side of the cycle, make sure you do it with your own comfort zone. And I'll have more about that in the near future. For now, we do know that it's an option that we can use. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into programming this furnace. It's really easy to do. I will post these options on my blog, on my teaching site, thecliminstitute.com. This video will show you how to take those firing parameters and put it into the CS6. It's really easy to do to get a great outcome every time. Click on the home page. And there we will find individual programs. We're going to find one that hasn't been programmed yet. Click on parameters. First step I use is administration. Here we're going to enter the name of the material we're going to use. Approve that name. Next step is to turn on the glaze option and choose the pre-drying cycle. In this case, we're going to use glaze. Remove the middle temperature increase program option. Our first programming is we're going to use the 150 Celsius per minute that's in the furnace, and then place in a holding temperature of 650. Our next line is to place 45 degrees Celsius per minute increase, holding temperature of 720. And then holding time of one minute. Cooling gradient, option one is 30 degrees Celsius per minute, and that's at 700 degrees. Our next line, 25 degrees Celsius per minute, and that's going to be at 650. See, this is really easy to do. You just have to know what the numbers are. Our vacuum is going to turn on at 580 degrees and then the vacuum will go off at 719 degrees. If you choose lock the program, it will be secure for you. This is the overview of the temperature increase and decrease for the overall program. Let's go ahead and test and see what our firing time is. 15 minutes. That's pretty good. Now let's choose another option here. We're going to go back and unlock the program and choose another drying cycle. This is the accelerated drying cycle. This is how we are maximize it in the furnace. Now let's check what the time is.
and that's 12 minutes and 10 seconds. So you can see if the material can handle an accelerated drying cycle, it's gonna work really well for you. Our next program is for Ivacolor. I'm gonna do this in a little different order, which is okay. Turn on the glaze option here. And then remove that middle programming option. And then for temperature increase, we're gonna leave it at 150 Celsius per minute. Use a holding temperature of 650 for that first line. The second line, 60 degrees Celsius per minute with a holding temperature of 710. This is a low fusing material and we'll hold that temperature for one minute. Our next line is cooling line one, 30 degrees Celsius per minute at 700 degrees. Line two, 25 Celsius per minute 650 degrees. Vacuum turns on at 450 degrees. The turnoff temperature is 709 degrees. Place in the program name. And let's see the time. 14 minutes, 10 seconds. Excellent for either color. Let's change the pre-drying time to the faster drying time. This has worked okay in my hands. I'm still testing it. And that time frame is 11 minutes and 20 seconds. Excellent. Now that didn't seem too hard. Two cycles, male aesthetic and Iva color. I use these systems all the time. They are my favorite outside of a meal 850 on Emacs. When we are in that clinical theater, we want to use the best that's out there. And that does change over time, but it's nice to know that this furnace is a complete furnace and will handle whatever we need to do with it. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you post them below and I'll see you folks in that next video. From the homestead, you have a great day. Bye now.